Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects and today we're going to talk about moving split screens. This I'm calling an advanced tutorial. Um, this is for movie makers uh, or someone who wants to get incredibly uh, creative with their their personal videos. So uh, this one does take a little bit of a thought process and what we're trying to do is tell a story in just a few seconds. Um, using our split screen. Over here in the stock media from Filmora, uh, I've already downloaded and favorited a couple scenes. And the first thing you need to do is to take the scene that you're using. You don't have to use mine. We're going to tell a story. This is an airport. We're going to show somebody walk in and we're going to show a plane leaving. And that would be part of a story. This, this split screen could be in the middle of a video telling a story of three different things happening etc etc let's go here first thing we want to do is move this up to track two right, if you don't like the size you can click and hold right here and drag it and you can make this track the same size as track one um, doesn't affect your video at all it just makes it a little easier to see sometimes one of the things that you want to do is check your times this is 15 seconds this is a bangkok scene and this is 15 seconds now I know about where I want my split screen to go for the bottom. So you need to adjust your, your picture. So that's the first thing we want to do. Adjust your picture. Where do we want? What do we want to see? We want to see all that signage. Let's come down about here maybe. Let's just take a quick look. So we can see quite a bit, but we can see quite a bit of movement. And that's what we really want to see is movement. We want to get as much movement in this as possible. All right. Very nice. Now we want to check out our bottom scene. What do we want to expose? I guess you could say underneath of this when our mask comes across and that's how we're going to do it. We're going to use a mask. Uh, I know I had a bridge thing up there before. I'm just going to use this other one for now. Drop it underneath. When you have different clips that you're trying to expose, one, you, you really have to spend some time. And in my demo uh, there, I, I spent an awful lot of time. And um, so first thing we want to do is we want to walk back. We want to work backwards. Let's just make sure we don't lose the guy. So I'm just going to lower the whole thing to uh, about here. And all I'm going to do is unhide just to see where I'm at. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So here we can see the girl coming in, waving to somebody, and then boom, we expose the guy right there. I like that. We're going to call that one done. There is one more step that we must do. Go back to media, sample color, choose green. Place green on track three. Bring it all the way out to the end. Click on the green or double click the track, either way you want to get to it. We need to pull that up. And what I'm going to do is leave a slight bit of black right here. Okay. On our next layering, we'll be using the chroma key to replace the green with whatever else we got. And that's why we're going to do it. So that's it. We're going to export that. Um, you can call this whatever you want. Call it the uh, bottom, bottom, whatever you want to call it, guys. Just call it, I'm going to call it bottom. Um, and I'll, for my purposes, since I have so many files in my folder, I'm going to call it bottom demo. All right. Export it. You don't need to save that project if you feel comfortable with it being complete. Saving projects is always a good thing, though. Let's go back over to our folder. Uh, what we're going to do now is just grab these three and delete them. Boom. We don't need them anymore. Let's bring in bottom demo. Put it back down here. It, it jumps down to track two. And you can see 
I'm not going to play it for you, but I'm just going to scroll it for you so you can see what's happening. That worked out really well. Now let's get some stuff up here in the top. Stock medium. Let's work with the boot. The boot goes on track one. The bottom demo goes on track two. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and slice it to the correct length. I like to work with everything the correct length when I start. Double click track two's clip, your bottom demo. Go to chroma key, turn it on, and immediately you can see what happened. The boot has now shown through the green. Now, obviously, that boot is uh, way too big for what we're doing. So let's do this again. Hide the top track, go to the boot. There are multiple ways you can do this. You can scale that boot down and bring it up. Start working with it like that. Turn the track on to see where you're at. That's not bad. That's not bad. And now, look, I want you to see this right here. You see how this track, track two, is actually covering track one? But the green screen, the chroma key, is only allowing the part from the chroma key to show through. So this is how you can adjust your stuff. Okay, let's hide that track again. I'm going to double click this. I'm going to slide the entire track over because I want one smaller than the other. I'm going to turn this back on again and we'll quickly scroll through and see if it's what we like. Yes, that's very good. I like that. Okay, well guess what we're going to do now. If you guess put another green screen on, you are correct. So again, sample color, green, drop it on track three, cross, grab it, and adjust it. The first thing you want to do is line it up with the previous one so that the black lines line up. And then I'm also going to leave a slight black line between the boot and what will be the airplane. All right, we are ready to export. Okay, you can call this whatever you want. Let's call it bottom plus left. Okay, because we got the bottom, we got the left, and now we got to get the right. Export it. Sweet. Once again, grab them all, delete them. Back to the folder, import the one we just did, bottom plus left. All right, import that one in. Track two, guys, if it doesn't land on track two, which it should, but if it doesn't, make sure you move it up. Sometimes it'll go down to track one. Make sure you put this thing on track two. It's very important. Okay, let's grab another picture. You see why I call it layering now, right? All right. I'm going to go ahead and split that so it's all the same length. Now, this one is a little more complicated. If we follow our procedure and we double click this, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Chroma key on. Okay, that brings the airplane picture there. This is exactly what we want. But watch what happens when I move the airplane picture around. I, I can't really do it. Um, let me lock the top track for a sec. So see, I want this airplane picture to keyframe and cover up the rest, but I can't. I can't. So how do you do that? Well, it's not that hard. We're going to break our rules. What we're going to do, instead of putting the airplane picture on track one, we're going to put airplane picture on track two. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is put it where I want it. Okay. Now, when it expands, it will cover the other tracks. It'll cover the other clips, I should say. So first, let's see what we got. We're still processing there, but yeah, everything looks perfect. And what we're going to do now is 
go to the track three or track two, depending on how you're layering these, but we're going to go to the airplane track right here. And we're going to come to the beginning of the, of the uh, clip, come all the way to the beginning, and I want you to use the keyframe button right here. Okay, keyframe. Now it's important that that clip was highlighted when you click the keyframe. If you had another clip highlighted, you would get a different result. Okay, let's go all the way to the end. Let's add another keyframe. And we're going to take our scale and just boom, till, till we fill the screen. And let me show you that little trick I showed you again. See it, what had happened? Sometimes it looks like you're at the end, but you're not. Just grab the little ball and slide it over. Let's go to the very beginning. Yeah, we got the beginning. And that is that. And here we go. I won't play the whole thing, but here we go. Plane landing, airport scene. Somebody's walking. Now, that's one way to do it. Now, in my demo, I did it a slightly different way, and I'm going to show you that, too. Uh, what we're going to do up here is reset the mask. In my demo, what I decided to do was to allow this to play to about three quarters of the first mask and then expand out. So what we can do is just leave our playhead right there and hit add. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it a lot faster. And add. And scale it. You can also scale and position at the same time. I'm just going to simply scale it for the purpose of this demonstration. Let's go back. Give it a quick look to make sure we got it where we want it. If we don't, we can drag this button or we can just reset the keyframe and start again. Let's watch. And there we go. And that's that's more uh, what I wanted with the demo. Then for to play around with, uh, let's go with some... Um, Let's go with a filter for this demo. Let's just uh, pick a LUT. Uh, let's put some red in it. That's probably too much red. We can double click that, bring that red down just a little bit, the opacity. We'll take the red, we'll bring it across, match it up, give a quick look. And then, of course, you can add some music to it. And that's that. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. You may need to run through this a few times to get the hang of the layering, the exporting, the importing. Where do I put it? Top track, bottom track. Uh, the answer is, is always simple. The one that you did goes above the one you're doing until you get to the point where you want to do something crazy, like bring one of the tracks across everything else then it would have to go on to the top don't let this confuse you everybody this is easy practice it just use some some uh, default clips just use anything you got it doesn't have to tell a story while you're practicing take some notes that's what i did take some notes write everything down we'll see you real soon on the next uh, video i want to thank everybody for watching make sure you hit that bell for notifications subscribe to the channel leave me comments we'll see you real soon